Good evening. Good evening, Leo. So this is your 2020 forecast. Um, I'm going to be using this Lynn Norman deck by Ron George. Um, and I'm going to be using um, a tarot deck here to clarify a little bit more on that. And then and lastly, I'm going to be using this Oracle deck um, and this dice um, to give you a final piece of advice um, for the year of 2020. Um, so let's get right to it. So what do we have for the lion um, people? Lion people, lionesses, um, lions. Uh, for the year of 2020, what do we have for Leo in the year of 2020? What do we have for Leo coming up in the year of 2020? Okay, so let's get started. Alright, so I'm going to um, just lay the cards out. Um, and while I'm doing this, I just wanted to um, give you a little tidbit of info about Lenormand, um, those of you who might not know. So this originated in France um, in Napoleonic times, um, and I believe it's pretty popular in Europe, um, not so much in the US, I don't think, um, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and if you want to know more about it, you can just Google Lenormand um, and you can find out a little bit more about it, um, whatever your heart desires. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be showing you each card in this spread um, up close, but I'm gonna be showing you whatever pops out to me intuitively. Um, I'm gonna be showing you close-ups of those. Okay, so there's some character cards here. Um, this being a general generalist reading, I'm just gonna use those character cards as a guide, not like actual characters in real life. Um, just as a guide representing um, char actual characters in your life as a Leo. Um, okay, so here we go. So we have a child. So I think this represents your inner child. Um, and I see them maybe pursuing dreams represented by um, this market card. Um, you're, you're pursuing, I think, some like creative projects, um, some form of like lucrative um, personal projects that you may have, um, whatever it may be. Um, it could be like career, um, some kind of creative um, personal projects. Um, you're gonna be pursuing that, um, your dreams. I see that leading to a um, really positive place. You're going to be really in your element with this creative, um, lucrative, um, pursuing your dreams um, that you've had, I think, maybe since your childhood, maybe, deep within you. Um, you're going to be in your element. Um, with this sun card here, you're going to be ultimately in your element, um, pursuing your dreams at the beginning of the year. Um, and I see this leading to actually a major change in your life. Um, it's going to be a major transition. Um, I think it's going to lead you to a major transition in your life. And then we have um, this um, whip card. It's going to be a rather long transition, I think, starting from the beginning of the year um, to um, towards the middle. Um, it's going to drag into the middle of the year. Um, it's going to the transition, um, this transitional phase. And this is going to lead you to um, some sort of deal, some kind of, some form of deal or some kind of promise that you're going to make, um, whether it be, um, I think it has to do with this creative project in the beginning of the year um, that you're pursuing. So this is going to definitely, um, there's going to be some kind of um, agreement, some kind of, some form of binding um, agreement with that. That's going to lead to stability um, as represented by this anchor card. It's going to lead to great stability with that creative project um, that you started um, in the beginning or that you started pursuing in the beginning of the 2020. Um, and then here I see though, like be wary of people trying to, um, so this is a mice card. I'm representing maybe some people trying to like um, steal what you have and try to, you know, they're jealous because just launching this new creative like amazing project but make sure that okay so this bear card represents stability on um, steadfast energy um maybe even like survivalist mode but not necessarily in a crazy aggressive way just like really steady you know mature wise steadfast stable energy embrace that and that will lead you to ultimate prosperity as represented by this garden um, so make sure you really tap into, um, in the middle of the year, that bear energy that you have, um, which I know that you have as a Leo, I mean, you're lying, um, you survive, um, I mean, you have some survivalist energy, um, crazy survivalist energy, I'm getting intuitively, um, and then here we have the fox card. So at the beginning of the year, I'm thinking like the last quarter of the year, um, probably like starting, um, maybe like September or October, 
um, like that part of the year, you're gonna have to tap into your like clever energy, um, which I know you have um, as a Leo. I mean, you're kind of like, you have a little bit of feline, like sly, stealthy energy. So really tap into that, like be clever um, at the last quarter of the year. And here we have the rider card um, on a horse. You're gonna be charging Leo's, um, Leo lions are gonna be charging at the end of the year um, into this luck, which is really great. So and at the end of the year, you're gonna run into some luck here um with um that energy like as a tool um that fox energy you're gonna be using that as a tool and then here we have um i think this is like the ending so this represents endings i'm guessing kind of like at the beginning of the year how you have like this phase where you're transitioning into a new phase and um, this represents transitioning into a new phase but on a smaller level i think like a small um, cut of like a the old into the new um, and then at the end of the year, year we have the clouds which is kind of like um, neutrality like when you're not necessarily here nor there but it's not necessarily um, a bad thing it's just kind of like I'm picking up intuitively okay so traditionally this means like you're a little confused but intuitively I'm picking up with all we have here is that with this creative project um, that leads you to this new phase um, and then of stability um, some kind of binding agreement um, and then with the prosperity card um, with a stabil stable um, bear energy you're going to land into prosperity in the middle of the year um, and then we have like the clever like stealthy fox energy that you should really utilize um, at the end of the year um, riding into success i see this as like um you transitioning into a new phase and obviously it's going to be transitioning into the unknown so that's what i'm ultimately getting with this card is like a you're transitioning into a new phase, not as major as the beginning tran the b transition in the beginning of the year that's going to lead you to this prosperity um, with a stable bear energy. Um, but this, with the once again with the fox energy at the last quarter of the year, is represented. Um, this is representing the end of 2020 with a new phase, going into the unknown. Um, after uh, riding into that bit of luck with the fox energy as your little as your tool. Um, as your secret little weapon. Okay, so I'm gonna be going into um, some clarification for you. Um, I'm gonna clarify for you um, in terms of, okay, here we have some cards that fell out. Um, maybe like the transitions that you're gonna be going through. Um, so there's transition one, and then after the prosperity um, with the stable bear energy, going into the fox energy, we have um, another transition here, and then um, lastly, like going to the unknown. Um, so I know that this card represents um, um, maybe like holding on to the past. Um, the um, four of pentacles within the context context of this deck represents holding on to the past. Um, so you really need to let go of your past um, before you transition into your new phase, um, which is going to last for I think the majority of the first um, part of the year going to the middle um, and then after the middle of the year towards the end of a quarter so we have the four of um, rods here so with the fox energy riding into the luck um, we have the four of rods so let me just look up the actual meaning um, of this card because I'm not really sure what it means within the context of this deck so just give me a minute with the four of rods okay so four of rods a lovely floral arch joins the flowering rods. This can signify the joining of two families in marriage. The partnership will benefit everyone involved. Peace and harmony have been restored. So I don't think this necessarily means marriage like per se because this is a general reading once again. Um, but I think this is representing once again with um, the rider, like a union, the rider. Okay, so going to that fox energy, when you embrace that like foxy kind of like lion like feline energy that you have which is like stealthy and sly you're going to be going into that batch of luck you're going to be riding into that um through a union of some kind like a union um with like an entity or maybe like a partnership so this is a strong partnership energy whether it be professional partnership or maybe personal your personal life a partnership is going to um, aid you along the way towards the last quarter of your um year of 2020 um, and then with the six of rods and um, with going transitioning once again at the end of the year into the unknown um, like mistiness um, of the unknown like a new phase we have the six of rods once again so um, I'm gonna look up what that means actually I put the book down and um, the six of rods okay so let's see within the context of this deck and um, so we have 
The Six of Rods. Okay, so um, the Laurel be decked hero returns victorious. Your hard work has paid off. So yeah, this is a positive card. So my intuition was correct. So this is a positive card. Um, going to a new phase, you're transitioning into the unknown, but it's not negative. So this is like once you run into that luck at the end of the year, um, once again with the rider um, running into um, the luck um, with that sly fox energy that you're going to use as your secret weapon um, at the end of the quarter of 2020, um, you're going to the unknown as a victorious um, warrior who has one <laughs> so very good card and you're going to be venturing at the unknown at the end of the year um, okay so last but not least i'm going to um use this dice to figure out what more do we have for leo for 2020 what more do we have for leo for 2020 okay so here we have here we have nine so that may be um, significant for you um in going into 2020 but what i'm going to do is i'm going to shuffle um these oracle cards and then i am going to um, pick the ninth card um, and then we'll see um, so what do we have for Leo going into 2020 what do we have for Leo going into 20 last piece of advice please okay so the ninth card okay so I'm gonna start from here one two three four five six seven eight Okay, nine. So we have chaos and conflict. So I'm seeing that um, once again, having to deal with um, like the um, transitions, like the first transition in the middle of the year, um, and then utilizing that like stable bear energy towards the middle of the year, and then ultimately going to that fox energy to get into that um, lucky phase of your life. Um, I see that there's there will be some chaos and conflict with these transitions, but. As we can see, they're gonna be positive transitions, like as represented by this um, prosperous garden card. And um, this is represents ultimate prosperity. So you will um, run into the, some real prosperity um, towards the middle of the year by using the stable bear energy. Um, and then you're going to, once again, using the fox energy, um, you're going to, you know, tap into your sly, um, foxy, sort of like stealthy, um, clever energy and then you're going to ride into um, a great amount of luck but um, it doesn't come um, free to get into this prosperity and luck um, you're going to have to face some conflict when it comes to but okay so there is um, a zebra here so zebra um, represents a lot of things um, it's a multifaceted creature very very unique and maybe there, that's a trait about you that may be um, oh, excuse me, my cat here. Um, okay, so that may be a trait about you. Um, you're a multifaceted person. You're unique, very, very unique, and you stand out. And maybe that actually attracts a lot of haters, maybe, um, or people who are, like, jealous of you or trying to bring you down. And But once again, tap into, in the middle of the year, stable bear energy, stealthy um, survivalist, very steadfast, um, wise. And then towards the end of the last quarter of the year, tap into that sly, um, clever fox energy that I know that um, Leo's all have, because you're very feline, um, and you will get through it, and you will, um, in the middle of your year, once again, um, with that bear energy, reach um, ultimate prosperity, as represented by this garden card. Um, and then you will, um, at the uh, last quarter of the year, with that fox energy, once again, remember that, um, at the last quarter, bring in, get in tune with your feline, like Leo, like sly energy, stealthy, and you will run into this luck. Um, but once again, remember the bear in the middle of the year and the fox at the last quarter of the year, and you will end with a positive bang, transitioning into um, one phase at the beginning of the year, and then at the end of the year, transition, transitioning into a new phase at the end of the year. Um, but it's positive. Um, we saw with the um, the victorious um, warrior that has won the battle, and they're transitioning into a new horizon with the unknown um or into the unknown but it's a new horizon after a victory so that's amazing so this is great um so that is all i have for leo um for 2020 um <laughs> we used all these cards and um, so i hope you enjoyed the reading um i hope it was helpful so like um comment subscribe um share if this resonated with you um and see you later